Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a slime pour. Those of you that follow me over on Instagram know that I belong to a slime trend collab group where we'll be doing a bunch of different slime trends. The first one that we did was hashtag slime pour. So basically we poured slime like you're seeing right now on a block or a piece of clay, and then we mixed it up. It's super fun to do, it's so easy to do, it's very creative and you can really go crazy with it and do whatever you want with any color arrangement. So yeah, that's what I'm going to show you what to do in today's video. If you're not following me over on Instagram, head over there at Rainbow Playmaker. I will list down in the description all the other people that I'm working with that are part of my Slime Trend collab group. And yeah, if you're interested in looking at all the slime pours, you just have to go to Instagram, hashtag slime pour, and they'll all come up. Now let's jump right into the video. I'm gonna be using my big mixer because it's just more fun that way. And I'm putting in about a gallon of school glue. Now I'm adding in some lotion, and the last thing I'll be adding is my favorite foam soap. I love adding foam soap to slime. If you guys are new to my channel, now you know. So I will show you how to do this with a smaller batch slime. I will just put the ingredients down in my description if you'd like to check that out. So I'll do like a one cup version so you don't have to use a gallon if you don't want to. All right, so I'm mixing up my gallon of glue. I'm mixing up my foam soap. And for this size batch, I did about 20 pumps of lotion. So 20 pumps of lotion and about maybe five pumps of foam soap, six pumps of foam soap. So this is the texture now. We're going for kind of like a milky slime. We want the slime to be drippy, although you can do this with a thicker slime as well. The consistency of the slime really doesn't matter. Um, if you have a thicker slime, it will just drop and fall slower as you're pouring it, but the effect is still really, really cool. So if you want a thicker slime, I would say use less lotion. And you could also even try using a thicker glue. I'm using a school glue, but if you want to try it with a glue all, it will work as well. So I'm gonna go with a rainbow theme, so I'm just coloring them up. These are kind of small batches to be doing in my big mixer, but I'm just going for it. Yay! I'm very happy with the consistency of all of these slimes. So now I'm gonna to have to mix them and arrange them before I pour them. So I'm gonna be taking out little pieces of each of these colors and combining them together. The way that you could do this is so, like you can do it however you want. You can layer them like I will be layering as you will see in a second here, or you can put them side by side. They don't have to be in any particular order. I kind of followed the rainbow color scheme here, but you could even mix it up a little bit with your hand before you start to pour. But I'm just leaving it like this. All right, so next you are going to want to grab a piece of clay. If you don't have any clay, you can still do the slime pour without the clay. I, I just think it's super fun to pour it over a block of clay or cloud slime or something that's thicker so that you can mix it in the end, but it really doesn't matter. So I am starting my slime pour. And one of the things that I love about doing slime pours is you really never 100% know how it's gonna turn out. And so for me, when I first started doing this, I thought it looked like cabbage. I don't know why, but then when I posted this on my Instagram account a bunch of people said that it reminded them of melted uh, fruit by the foot which I totally can see that too so that was my slime pour and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out again you can do any kind of color combination that you want some of my favorite colors to mix are like a pink purple and like an aqua blue kind of like a unicorn scheme but you can go with anything so i'm super excited to see what you guys all create make sure to tag us hashtag slime pour hashtag slime trend collab over on Instagram so we can see all of your amazing creations. And hopefully you will get a chance to be featured on one of our accounts. Comment down below, let me know what you think of my slime pour. Did you like how the colors were arranged? Did you like how it turned out? This is the final mixing. I'm hoping that this will be a little more purple. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of my slime. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way through to the end. If you made it through the video without skipping through at all, comment hashtag I did it down below. And I will see you guys in my next slime video. Bye!